All right, today's tip is about learning to read the wind and, and shooting and correcting for the wind at long range, okay? Um, you get a lot of wind deflection at long range. It's probably the biggest reason that you're gonna miss a target after you've figured out your trajectory and solving with a ballistic solver, how, you know, how to get your drop corrected for. The wind is an undeterministic variable, which means it changes shot to shot. And so the best way to learn it is with practice and experience, okay? You, you make a call, you fire your shot, you get the feedback of where it hits, and you learn, okay? So an important part of that process is making sure that you're getting clean feedback, all right? What I mean is that the wind deflection that you see on the target is due only to wind deflection and not other variables coming in there to muddy up the works, okay? And one of the biggest things that will do that is if your scope isn't level, okay? That's what I'm driving towards is levels and anti-cant devices um, for your scope or your sights when you shoot long range. All right, when you have, think about it, 20 or 30 feet of drop in your trajectory at 1,000 yards and you dial up to correct for that, well, if you dial up and it's not perfectly up, but it's a little bit to the side, from the shooter's eye view, your trajectory goes with that turret. It goes up at an angle and then it comes down to the target at an angle. So I think the rule of thumb is that for every degree of cant at 1,000 yards, your bullet is offset five inches, okay? And the human eye can only resolve really well within plus or minus three degrees of vertical. So, I mean, without an instrument, of course, you do better with a level, that's the whole point. But without a level, you're plus or minus three degrees on shot to shot. So that's plus or minus 15 inches across that target face at a thousand yards that you're dealing with before the wind even blows, okay? So if you're trying to read the wind, learn how to read the wind, you know, make wind calls and see where the bullet hit, and you've got a 30 inch window of uncertainty that's due to your shot to shot variation in cant because you don't have a level and you can't see it, well, it's gonna be really hard for you to learn how to read wind in that case because you've got this random variable of cant coming and showing up as windage or mixed in with your windage. So it's gonna be really hard to learn your wind corrections that way. Um, but whenever you put a level on the scope and you, you refer to it on every shot, then you can be assured that wherever your bullet hits at long range, the wind deflection is purely the wind deflection and you don't have other things in there messing up that feedback for you so you can learn better. So that's really what it's about. You obviously, it's not just a learning tool. You wanna to use it when you're actually shooting to hit targets too, but when you're just in a training session, having that scope level while you're training will help you learn to read wind better than if you're dealing with the uncertainty of shot to shot variation in cant.